What's up guys, I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Bill. Or, I guess today, it's Drink Dad Drink. Happy holidays kids, how are we doing? Okay guys, so it's currently about two days away from Christmas. The shop is kind of closed for renovations, but I figured I would make this video because I do get asked what whiskeys I like and what whiskeys I would recommend. Now let me preface this by saying, I am in no way, shape, or form a whiskey sommelier or an expert on the subject. I just enjoy whiskeys. So today what I wanted to do is showcase five whiskeys under 40 bucks that can get you started into whiskey. And all of these are kind of like go-tos of mine, if you will. In this video, you will hear me use the word whiskey and the word bourbon. The main thing to know about that is that all bourbons fall under the category of whiskey but not all whiskeys are bourbons. As you guys know, here at Build Dad Build, we are not fancy. <laughs> so I do not have a fancy whiskey glass. I will be using this glass for this video. I don't particularly care for this glass because it's very thin, but it does let you get a little bit more nose of the bourbon in it. So if I'm trying a new bourbon for the first time, I will use this, but I'm old school, man. I drink out of one of these bad boys. <laughs> so I drink whiskey neat. But that's just my thing. If you like it on ice or something like that, Ethan. One of the things to be enjoyed about whiskey is, is how you like it prepared. If you like old fashions, that's your thing. So I'm not going to snob it up by saying you have to drink it neat. I just do. I will say that ice dampens some of the notes of the whiskey. If you really want to know what you think about a whiskey, you should do like a quick taste and smell with no ice in it. But if you like to drink whiskey on the rocks, hey man, at least you're drinking whiskey. Now, if you're just getting into whiskey or you've been in whiskey for a while, I do want to recommend an app. This is not sponsored or anything. It's just an app that was recommended to me that I really like. It's called Distiller and it allows you to kind of search for different whiskeys. It will give you kind of low down on it. Like here's, so the first one we're gonna do is Buffalo Trace. So I'm just gonna type in Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace Bourbon, it says that the average rating is 3.7 out of five. It's pretty decent. Flavor profile is sweet. An expert review is 83. Kind of like a little graph thing here, which so it just kind of shows you kind of like the little roller coaster of the flavors that you're gonna have in there. And if you make a profile on that app and, and start rating the things that you're drinking, it'll start making suggestions. All right guys, but enough about that. Let's get to the drinking. So my plan is to do a, a, a taste and a sample of it and then kind of let you guys know in layman's terms because we ain't fancy. But I wanna let you guys know kind of what it tastes like to me and if that sounds appealing to you. And I don't have these in any particular order aside from I, let, I put bullet at the end because that is kind of my go-to bourbon. So I will probably talk a little bit more about that. There you go, zombie Santa. I'm not gonna get much into like the whole tasting etiquette thing because honestly, I don't really know that much about it. I just know how to kind of get a, get the, the nose or the smell off of it and then get a, get a, like a little flavor profile. So, I think this is spicy. It has kind of a cinnamon smell to it uh, with, with something else, with like kind of a, maybe a vanilla even. It does not smell sweet, I can tell you that. And then there, there you get a little bit more spice. So the app says that the flavor profile is sweet. I would almost put this a little bit more in the spicy category. It definitely has like some, there's definitely some stuff happening in my mouth and I like it. <laughs> Meme that one. This is tasty. And the reason people, a lot of people go with Buffalo Trace is because it's inexpensive, but it does have a pretty decent flavor profile to it. It's not kind of like a one pump chump, if you know what I'm saying. And next we've got Maker's Mark 46. So you probably heard of Maker's Mark. This is kind of their a little bit, a little bit nicer. It's a little bit, the bottle's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's a little higher proof. I guess I should mention all of these whiskeys are under 100 proof. I think the 94 proof is the highest one I have out here. When people get more into whiskeys, a lot of people say they like cask strength, which is like usually over 100, like 100 to 110, I believe. I tend to like my octane a little lower because I tend to drink more of the whiskey. But again, that's just personal preference. Anyway, so Maker's Mark 46. If I can open it. Woo! All right, 
zombie Santa. So this one is rated by the app as a community rating of 3.7 out of 5, uh, an expert review of 90, and the flavor profile shows it as vanilla and spicy. Hold please, the dog would like to go out and take a shit in my backyard. All right, here we go. <gasps> Just kidding. Definitely a lot of vanilla coming off this one. The Buffalo Trace was rated as sweet and this is rated as, as vanilla and spicy. I would say smell wise, at least, this smells sweeter to me. Clinkies. A little spice in there, which it's, it's, it has kind of the burn of cinnamon, but that, without the taste of cinnamon, if that makes sense. It's got a little bit of a chocolate thing going on. I'm getting an oak taste out of it. A lot of you guys are makers. You, you may want to know what I'm talking about. Like I haven't, I haven't eaten oak. <laughs> Actually, I probably haven't sawdust, but it kind of something in this experience makes me think of oak. Next, we've got Four Roses Small Batch. Four Roses makes a, a cheaper product than this that is that is tasty, but I feel like this has got a fuller taste to it, and it's not that much more expensive. This has an average user rating on distiller of 3.8. It has an expert review of 92, and the flavor profile is fruity and sweet. Guys, if you, if you don't do this on a regular basis, when you're smelling bourbons, you wanna just kinda of dunk your nose in there and just like kinda of draw it in. Like when you, when you do it more often, you'll be able to kinda of like give it a big sniff, but if you're newer to it, you're just gonna get like a kind of an alcohol burn in your nose, so just, you know. So just sniff responsibly. <laughs> this is definitely smells sweet. There's something in there that there's a, it's kind of a, like a toffee or maybe, maybe a caramel. There's something else in there that, that like is, is registering in my brain as something I should know, <laughs> if that makes sense. Also don't be surprised, sometimes, uh, sometimes smelling a whiskey will trigger memories. It's just like kind of a brain association thing. It doesn't have anything to do with like it's alcohol or anything like that. Sometimes you get a smell and it'll remind you of something like from when you were a kid. And I think that sometimes when people smell whiskeys and they say that, like they, they something smells very familiar and they can't figure out what it is, it's your brain's making an association. You're not associated with that with the thing that makes a smell, you're associated with a memory that you're not quite pulling forward. But I could be talking out of my ass, let's drink. It's got kind of a fruity taste and it took me a long time to understand what people meant when they said they could taste nutmeg because to me, I know what nutmeg smells like. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's kind of like when you get like a, uh, it's almost a cinnamon and pepper taste together, if that makes sense. And I mean like black pepper, not like, not like jalapeno peppers. Also, a weird thing I learned from Whiskey Tribe is that sometimes if you can't quite pull the taste out, if you can't quite figure it out, if you put some in your mouth and you chomp, like you're chewing on it, Sometimes that it, it kind of brings the flavors out a little bit more and sometimes it can help a little bit. I think it's just the getting it circling around in your mouth type sitch. If you overdo it, it definitely kind of gives you, gets you tingling, gets you tingling. Not downstairs, if you know what I mean. Definitely get some, some honey, some sweet in there. Next we have TX whiskey. This is actually made in Texas. Um, this is a blended whiskey and it's a little, it's a little different than everything else I have up here. So this you're definitely going to get the vanilla off of. Now this one, my dog's thirsty. So am I. Uh, now this one's definitely on the sweet side. This is a whiskey that I recommend to people that are used to sweeter alcohol. So if somebody's coming from Jack and Cokes or something like that, this is something that I, that I recommend a lot of times because you're still gonna get that sweet, but you're also gonna get the rest of the flavors of the whiskey. It's definitely vanilla and spice on the nose. Let's see what Distiller says. The community rating is 3.7. The expert review is 78. And flavor profile is sweet and rich. Definitely sweet. What's up? What happened? Are you barking at me or are you barking at the dog is barking outside? Again, this really leans to the sweet side. It's got vanilla, it's got some caramel, it's got some chocolate. This is, I, I would say this is the weed of whiskeys. It's a gateway whiskey. So TX whiskey is definitely an experience to me, every once in a while, I don't know if I would have that be my go-to bourbon. Speaking of my go-to bourbon, 
let's talk about my little honey hair bullet. This is my go-to whiskey. This is the one that is always in my liquor cabinet. I like everything about this whiskey. I jokingly describe it as like a nice warm hug from a friend. It is just, it's, it's, it's warming. It's just, it's delicious. You know what, let's see what the distiller says about it. Okay, so this is a 3.5 rating, so the lowest one so far, right? It is a expert review of 86, which is higher than the TX, and the flavor profile is spicy. And if you know me at all, I like me some spicy. So let's check it out. I don't know if I've ever done this with bullet. It has kind of a woody smell, kind of like, not like, oh, boner woody, but like a, uh, like a, like an oak, like I was saying earlier. It's got kind of that smell or just a, a little bit of like like sawdust in the shop smell. There's definitely some some spice. I can't quite place it. There's a smell in there, damn it. All right, let's check it out. Where this whiskey gets me is when I swallow it. Most, most whiskey experience, most bourbon experience kind of happens in the mouth. But to me, this is like, I get some taste, but then I, like, I kind of feel it going down. Like I feel it. It's like a nice little warm hug in my chest. Let's get a little licorice in there. Like black licorice, but in a good way, because I don't like black licorice, but there's something about that. Maybe it's more of like a, maybe it's more of like a, like a clove taste, which is weird to say because I don't like cloves either, but it's got like a little spice, a little burn, and just a little hint of sweet underneath it. Maybe like even a little, little tobacco. It's delicious. Yum, yum. Give me some. I even pull a little bit more vanilla off of it when I, when I approach it. Man, it's good. I just can't tell you how much I love me some bullet. All right, guys, that's my recommendation for five whiskeys under $40. All delicious, all definitely worth checking out. If you guys have a recommendation for a fancy glass that isn't just like one of those Glencairn glasses, let me know in the comments down below. I wouldn't mind having a fancy glass. I just haven't found one I like. Also, if you're drinking a whiskey for the first time and you're finding you don't like it, check out this video right here where I teach you how to smoke whiskey because that smoke is definitely gonna add another layer to the taste profile and most of the time it will improve a kind of mediocre whiskey. All right guys, and let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more videos like this where we kind of talk whiskey. And with that, just a quick toast. Here's to lying, cheating, stealing and drinking. If you lie, you lie to save a friend. If you cheat, you cheat death. If you steal, you steal your girl's heart. And if you drink, you drink with me. Clinkies. Hmm. Thanks for playing. Now I gotta get to work or let the dog out or something. Woo! That's why that glass is fancy right there, because it rolls around. What in the Sam shit? Get the Paw Patrol watch. Thanks, kids. What an absolutely gorgeous day. Warm sun, beautiful women, and the air is just right for drinking. Merch Lincoln Bio. <laughs>